came. And so every mission after Columbia, we would do a, a huge survey of the tank to make sure that there were no places where the foam had been liberated. And so we would actually film, videotape the tank falling back to the earth. So they could, the analysts could take that data and look to see if there was any, any problems. I'm filming this tank falling down, coming down, coming down, coming down. And then at one point, there's a little bit of fuel left in the tank until it vents out in a fan shape. So this fan of fuel liquid coming out and the sun's behind it. And it's this beautiful, just glow of just, I, I, I can't even describe it. And then once the tank falls out of my field of view, I'm looking at the Caribbean ocean and the colors that I see, I, it, it blows your mind because you've never seen something so vibrant before. And you don't have definitions for the different hues of blue that you see because, you know, you have, you know, navy blue, you know, robin's egg blue, light blue. I was exhausted and I saw 30 more shades of blue looking at the ocean from turquoise to deep, deep, darkest blue, azure, you know, indigo, all these colors. And so I think you get this overload, this stimulation overload of seeing our beautiful blue, blue marble below you. And then you got to get to work.